person, whether you're live or on the replay, it's all good. At least you're here. So do you ever walk up to a friend or maybe you're going out somewhere with a girlfriend or maybe two or three or, or more and she is fabulously dressed in a colorful outfit and you think to yourself, how did she pull that off? I could never think of combining those colors together. Let me know, yes or no. Have you ever experienced this? Okay, so I'm telling you, you can do this too. It's not that difficult and you won't look like a clown, I promise, if you follow these quick, simple steps. And I've got a couple tools also that I always keep like in my back pocket to help you out with this. So if you are new to the show, welcome. My name is Gina, also known as the Style Rebel Mama. I'm a personal fashion stylist and coach, but honestly, I like to consider myself more like a personal style guide. And I am just absolutely obsessed with helping women just like you to rediscover your personal style in an authentic way so that you can always feel confident and step into your closet with ease instead of that decision fatigue, right? Changing your outfit more than once or twice or even more than that. Um, and just always feeling good about how you have yourself put together. But with practical style tips, that's what I'm all about. And I also don't pay attention to style rules. No, nope, just not my thing. So if you're new, let me know. Just say new. Um, and hello again. And if there's something that you hear that resonates with you that you absolutely love, give me a hashtag sparkle. That lets me know that you loved something that I said. Smash the heart. Um, feel free to sprinkle this too in your newsfeed so your peeps can hear all about this, especially if you've got any girlfriends that are that creative type that love putting colors together and have this knack for it naturally, drop their name down below. Give them a shout out. Okay, so this is something that I get asked all the time. Gina, how do you put these colors together? I love putting color on, whether it's with accessories or with clothing like I have on today. It honestly, it does something for my mood. It lifts my mood. It makes me feel more productive. And there's a whole psychological effect to it. Now, I know that many of us tend to have a lot of neutral colors in our closet, which is great because that's definitely part of a basic wardrobe that you want to have. But you also want to think about color. Um, color definitely makes you stand out. You'll feel more confident. And like I said, it does something to your mood. It just makes you feel happy and good and motivated and inspired. So if you tend to have a lot of blacks and navies, grays in your closet, drop the word neutrals. So I know if you tend to have more colors, say colors so that I know that too. Um, or maybe you're into a lot of different prints and patterns. So say prints, if that's you. Um, just to kind of give me a good gauge as to what you guys are into. So when we're talking about color, the challenge is to pull together colors in a way that don't make you look like a clown, right? Nobody wants to look like a clown, but there's a really simple way to do this. So Number one, the first way that you can add color to an outfit is really simply with a pair of shoes that are colorful or have, um, I'm gonna actually show you some examples. So for example, you can do it with a fun pair of shoes, okay? Um, these have a spring print to them, I love these. You can also do it with your bags. I've gotten so many compliments on this bag. Um, right, so you can do it with bags, really simply add, combine them with a neutral outfit and they will give you obviously that pop of color really quickly. Or the other way to do it is by color blocking using your clothing and or your jewelry accessories. So that's where I know it seems to be a challenge for many, but it doesn't have to be, okay? So when you're done watching this, First of all, I'd love to get some feedback from you and see if you've tried it out in your own closet by combining different colors. Send me some pictures, I would love that, but you are gonna literally feel like your very own style icon. All right, so that's the whole goal with this. And so, all right, so let me first share with you my little weapon that I use like all the time, 
Okay. Oh, I love coffee. I don't know. This is my second cup today, so not too bad because it's 1230 right now. Um, but how about you? Do, are you a coffee lover? And if so, how many cups have you already had today? I'm curious. Okay. Let me, um, before we move on, let me just make sure. Where's my phone? Okay. Let me make sure that we are on live because sometimes tech gets glitchy and Facebook can be weird, a weirdo, right? Okay. Um, let's see. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know, okay? I'd love to get your input. Okay, yeah, we are. And can you hear me okay? I think there's a comment, but let's see. Please let me know. Okay, we're good. All right, so here is my one of my secret weapons, okay? And this will work every single time you step into your closet. Now, I'm what I'm going to show you, I actually purchased on Amazon. I can drop the affiliate link if you want, but you can also print this online. It's a pocket color wheel, okay? So this is my one of my favorite tools that I use not only for myself, but I've also shared this in my style coaching program also and some of the ladies in there got this I know it's super helpful so what you do with the reason why I love this one instead of just printing one out is because first of all we're going to talk about color blocking using two different color schemes so the first one is called complementary and the other one is analogous okay if you're not familiar with those it's okay because this thing has all of the cheat sheets to them okay so what you do with this when you pull this baby out in your actual closet and you're thinking okay i want to i definitely you know say you have a special occasion that you really want to stand out or maybe just for fun like today i just went and i saw one client and the rest of the day i'm honestly working from home picking up the kids and so forth so um but it's kind of dreary outside so i thought Okay, color is going to change my mood for, for how it is outside. So what you do with this baby is that, say I want to wear a yellow top or yellow bottoms today, right? And I want to color block. So when I put the arrow on yellow, it's going to give me the complementary color to yellow. And what that means is whatever... Um, color that you land on, the complementary color to that is the color directly across from it on the color wheel. Okay, so this, when I hit yellow, the complementary color to yellow is violet. Okay, so if you wanted to say you had a violet top in your closet and you wanted to do some color blocking today with your clothing, you could grab a yellow sweater and look at how fun that looks, okay? How cute is that? Those two colors look amazing together. The other thing you could do is, um, you could do, say you wanted to wear the, uh, the violet top and then white pants, and you could wear yellow shoes. So do any of you have colored shoes in your wardrobe? They are so fun. So let me know. I, I love shoes. I'm honestly a shoe addict more so than anything else. So um, I do have lots of colored shoes in my, in my wardrobe. That's one thing that I don't, it's hard for me to purge are my shoes. Um, okay, so that would be a way of color blocking, right? Now, how about with jewelry? So this is a question I get asked all the time as well. What about with jewelry? I tend to wear mainly gold and silver. I don't really have any colorful jewelry. Well, maybe it's time to switch it up a bit. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this with your jewelry and not look like you have way too much color. Um, first of all, what I have on today is exactly this. So this was using an analogous color scheme and I'll show you why. Okay, so if you see, um, I have, let's see, let's, put this on the orange, all right? So if I put, <coughs> excuse me, if I put my 
um, color wheel on orange, right? So my top is actually a coral color, but we'll just pretend that it's orange because that is a tone. Next to it is, where's orange? Next to it is yellow, all right? So what I've done is I've taken, that's an anal analogous color scheme is where you take two to three colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. So uh, orange and yellow are right next to each other. Now I've added an extra pop of color or layer of color with my jewelry. Um, so as you can see, this piece has some turquoise and orange, right? So within your jewelry, your jewelry can also be color blocked. Um, so with, let me show you, with orange, so if we fall like, because my top is, and so coral is kind of like a reddish orange, right? So if we fall on the reddish orange, you'll see that right across from it is blue green which is going to be like a turquoise and that's exactly what premier designs has done with this necklace so with your jewelry you can also find jewelry that's color blocked yeah i could go ahead and just use the pops of color in my jewelry and then maybe wear like a white top or even black um and white pants and a white blazer and that would give it a great pop of color as well but i've done pretty much like my whole upper body color blocking and I've got white pants on today. So these colors also align with each other when you look at the color wheel as well. So that's another way. Um, now what about printed tops? Okay, so if you've got a lot of print or pattern on a top and you're thinking maybe silver and gold, one of those don't really go that well, although silver and gold pretty much goes with everything. Um, but you want to you want to feel a little more stylish, right? You want to be a little more daring with your accessories. So you might think that, for example, this piece here, because it's got so much going, right? It's got um, this animal print pattern with red and then the black and the coral specks in it. So what you want to do, if you want to add color, color jewelry, to a printed outfit or a patterned outfit, right, that's got already a lot of color, the way to do this in a way that you're not gonna look like a clown and you're gonna look stylish and feel really confident about it is you wanna grab the color that is the least amount of color in the pattern or the print. So for example, with this dress, or it's also a kimono, I would grab this coral color and I would pair it with these earrings. I actually wore this last week and I got so many compliments with it too. So um, that's a way to go about it instead of just going after the regular gold jewelry or silver tone jewelry with a printed outfit. All right. So my last tool that I wanted to share with you is just released yesterday my amazing assistant and I finally finalized is we have the 31 stylish spring summer outfits guide available. Woo, woo, woo. It is ready to go. So this is another great tool that you can use when you want to put together colorful spring summer outfits without putting way too much thought in it. So basically when you get this, um, you download it, you can download it to your phone or you can print it off. I personally, when I use this, because I used the fall winter one that I created, I would keep it on my phone and then I'd, I'd walk into my closet and just pop that PDF open and look at all of the outfits and then take inspiration from those outfits to create my own outfits. Now, the cool thing with this guide is that if you don't have, obviously you're not going to have the same exact outfits that are in here. But what you can do is use it for inspiration. It's basically like a capsule wardrobe of sorts, 31 outfits of a capsule wardrobe. Um, and if you wanna use it as inspiration, you take a look at the outfit for a particular day, and then you go into your closet and you choose something similar. It really just helps you build an outfit from your current wardrobe. Because I honestly don't believe in constantly buying clothes. That used to be me. And what I, got, what I ended up with was always that 
same, you know, it's kind of like a cliche now, but I would step into my closet, it's full of clothes, and feel like I had nothing to wear, okay? Because it was just full of clutter is what it was. I had no intention. There was no logic to a lot of the clothing that was in there. I would just buy because I was running out after trends or um, whatever, you know, maybe I saw a great sale, and then it just sit there. So that's not what you want to do. At least that's what I love to share is that you don't need to constantly be buying new clothes to feel stylish, okay, or run out after those trends because trends come and go. So this style guide really helps you with creating outfits out of your current wardrobe. And then the really awesome thing about it is that if you love the actual outfit that's in here, which also shows jewelry to go with it, you can actually shop that same outfit. So it's got links, shopping links to all the outfits, all the jewelry, the shoes, everything, um, where you can shop that same exact outfit and they are budget friendly shopping links, I promise. So my typical go-to places for shopping if I'm shopping online are going to be Target, Old Navy, Banana Republic, um, sometimes White House, Black Market. I will say I do love cabby. Cabby clothing is not on here, but if you are a cabby fanatic, um, this sweater is actually from cabby. I can send you the link to my cabby friend and stylist. Um, and then the jewelry in here is Premier Designs jewelry because I'm obsessed. I'm also a Premier Designs jewelry stylist. So, but anyways, if you're interested in this, just say the word spring outfits or words spring outfits and I will make sure to send you the info on this and then um, if you want to find out where exactly to grab this little pocket color wheel I will drop the affiliate Amazon link for this in the comments below um, any of the jewelry I, I will I'll drop the links to the jewelry down below too um, for example this piece and then some other really fun spring pieces Okay, so if you feel like, okay, Gina, but I, my wardrobe is pretty much like all neutrals and I wear just silver and gold. But yes, I do want to get out of my comfort zone and I do want to add pops of color to my outfits. So here are some great options. So Premier just came out with this piece and sorry guys, I don't have the names memorized. There's like 700 pieces in the collection, but I'll drop the links down below. So this is a great bold statement piece to really give you a fun pop of color for now for spring and summer and then this one is actually one of my absolute favorites right now um what i love about this piece is that you can actually take the charms off if you want to make it just a little more simple let me see one of my charms is tangled a little bit all right hold on one second because i want to I want you to see the full effect. Okay, so this is a super fun piece, uh, especially for spring and summer. Look at all those colors. So with jewelry like this, and it doesn't have to be Premier, but obviously I would love if you uh, love Premier too, that's always a plus, but find colorful jewelry and add it to your wardrobe it will make such a big difference in your outfits you'll stand out you'll feel more confident you'll just really love that put together look and um and it'll change your mood and just really make you feel good okay so um so this is another premiere piece and then the last one i'll show you that goes really great with what i have on right now um, this is another one. This is actually from their fall collection, which is still current. But see how the turquoise falls on the orange? It's, it's a great color combo. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of these ideas. I will be going more into depth on color combinations this Friday in my freestyle group for Fashion Fix Friday. So if you're not in there yet and you wanna get in, it's my freestyle group. I would love to welcome you. Just drop the word group and I'll make sure to send you the invitation via messenger to get in there. And if you have any questions while you're watching this on the replay, remember, don't be shy. Thank you for watching. I will be back on here next Wednesday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time.
Bye.